This Trudeau Notley Pipeline Alliance has been a complete disaster for Albertans. It's one of the reasons we're living through a jobs crisis. Why 183,000 Albertans are unemployed, why unemployment has gone up for seven of the last nine months, why 43,000 more Albertans are out of work than when the NDP took over. If Justin Trudeau's No More Pipelines Bill C-69 becomes law, I will direct our Attorney General immediately to file a constitutional challenge of uh, that law under Section 92A of the Constitution, which is Alberta's hard-fought right exclusively to control our upstream oil and gas production. That was a right won by Peter Lougheed, but surrendered by Rachel Notley, a shameful abdication of her responsibility as Premier to stand up for Alberta. Secondly, if British Columbia continues to obstruct Alberta energy and violates the economic union of the Constitution in doing so, we will use the turn off the taps legislation. If BC continues an economic or trade war against Alberta, we'll end it on our terms. Third point, we'll build a pro-pipeline, pro-energy, anti-carbon tax, interprovincial coalition to make pipeline construction a top priority of federal-provincial relations and to get other provinces to call with us on the feds to invoke section 9210C of the Constitution declaring this pipeline behind me, this project Trans Mountain, as being in the national interest or for the common advantage to override the campaign of obstruction in BC. Finally, and most importantly what I announced yesterday was that uh, if we do not see substantial progress on the complete, completion of this or another coastal pipeline, uh, that a United Conservative government will hold a referendum of Albertans on eliminating equalization from the Canadian Constitution. And we will do so to elevate our fight for fairness in the Federation to the top of the national agenda.